have a really bad habit of starting projects, paintings, videos, and just not finishing them. It seems like there is always an exciting new project just around the corner. And for that reason, I try to finish my paintings shortly after beginning them. Sometimes the paintings I abandon are for good reason. It doesn't always make sense to continue pursuing a painting, or a project, or an idea that just isn't going to work out. But other times, I set aside projects that were going well. Projects that were nearly complete. And for whatever reason, I lost that initial spark of interest that drove me with such intensity in the first place. This is one of those paintings. I initially started working on this painting back in March. And the painting itself is loosely based on a reference photo that I took back in October of 2020. So essentially the idea for this painting has been floating around in my head for nearly a year. Originally I assumed the project would be a quick painting that I could complete in two painting sessions. I even teased the painting in one of my videos, thinking it would be finished shortly thereafter. The first session went really well. I was trying at the time to capture the scene in a loose and somewhat impressionistic style. At the end of the painting session, I was really quite happy with my progress. Most of the important shapes, colors, and values had been established, and I had retained most of the character of the brush strokes. But the paint on my palette was beginning to dry, I was losing the last of the daylight, and I still had another video to finish filming and editing. So I set the painting to the side, just for a little while. Recently I began going through my video files looking to save storage space on my increasingly cluttered hard drive. And it dawned on me just how many projects I had put on the back burner and just left there and I decided it was time to finish at least one of those projects. When I sat down to finish this painting, the real challenge was finding my place again. I didn't want to lose the character of the brushwork, but I did want the painting to have a finished look. Another thing I didn't like was that the painting was quite dim. And that's just because the reference photo was also quite dark. When I took the photo, I did that deliberately, so that there would be strong contrast. I find it is much easier to paint realistically from references with bold and exaggerated contrast. But I didn't want the painting to be quite as harsh looking as the photo did. I want these lemons to have a fresh, sunny look. And I felt the strong, dark colors made the painting look a bit somber and sad and I wanted this to be a cheerful painting. So part of the challenge was softening up the painting and really just brightening it up without losing the things I liked about it. I tried not to rework the lemons too much because I pretty much liked the way they looked. But I did brighten the highlights just a tiny bit. And now, only five months later, this little 8x10 painting, which only should have taken me a couple days at most to paint, is finally finished. I honestly don't know why I procrastinated so long on this, but it's finished now, and I'm happy with how it turned out. Now it just needs a frame, and it's time to start a brand new project. 
or maybe finish an old one? We'll see where my inspiration takes me next. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Bye.